we all love a good story, adventure, peril, heroes vanquishing evil. As we know, all stories need conflict. The story gets exciting when opposition threatens to destroy the hopes and dreams of the hero. They must make a choice. Do they give up or do they press on, rising to the challenge? We can't wait to see what happens next. So, what is it about the hero's journey that we love so much? We're not much different from the heroes we look up to. We all have personal quests of hopes and dreams armed with our own set of talents and personality traits. But when challenges threaten the success of our journey, we grow frustrated that our life isn't going as planned. Unexpected changes are inevitable. Unpredictable challenges are a way of life. On the surface, we want calm waters and blue skies. But the truth is, these challenges we encounter help us grow. Elder Uchtdorf taught, Mortal life has a way of distracting us, doesn't it? We tend to lose sight of our great quest, preferring comfort and ease over growth and progress. This is easier said than done. Even though it's good for our growth, when we experience change, it can be scary. It hurts when life seems to take away the things we find comfortable. This can also frustrate us, since our quests don't resolve in a couple of hours or through a collection of pages. Our adventure spans the course of days, weeks, and years. It's easy to lose sight of the big picture. As the hero of our own adventure, we can only see a moment, and sometimes those moments can be rather dark. Remember Joseph in Egypt? He had a pretty good life, until his brothers betrayed him, sold him as a slave, was falsely accused, and thrown into prison. He found himself in a situation that he seemingly had no control over. Now, let's put ourselves in Joseph's shoes, or sandals. Joseph had to make a choice in that moment of darkness. Would he give up or keep looking for opportunities to let his talent shine? We know how his story ended, but he didn't. He had to make choices with no knowledge of where they would lead. After all, aren't we meant to act on faith? It's important to remember that before this moment, Joseph had received many inspired dreams he knew there was a plan for him to accomplish great things. But that doesn't mean Joseph felt that same confidence and inspiration during this moment. I'm sure it was difficult to see how he would ever do great things locked away in a prison. Remember what Elder Uchtdorf taught. If you hesitate in this adventure because you doubt your ability, remember that discipleship is not about doing things perfectly. It's about doing things intentionally. It's your choices that show what you truly are far more than your abilities. Even when you fail, you can choose not to give up, but rather discover your courage, press forward, and rise up. That is the great test of the journey. Since we can't see the full adventure, the only thing we have control over is how we act and react in the present moment. We must learn to have patience with the things we cannot control and focus on the things we can. This is the moment we rise to the challenge, face undoubtable odds, and become like the heroes we love so much. Remember, like Joseph in Egypt, we have spiritual guidance on our journey. Sometimes it comes from past spiritual experiences, and sometimes we must seek further guidance, or at least understanding. The Lord may have a purpose for us in our adventure that we simply cannot see yet. The next time you face the discomfort of unexpected challenges in your life, just remember, it's an opportunity to make a choice. Be patient with what you cannot control, focus on what you can, and leverage your talents and abilities to be resilient. Unexpected change can be scary or uncomfortable, but it is part of life's journey. It's that conflict that makes life exciting. After all, wouldn't our adventure be boring without it? Maybe it's time to embrace the adventure in our life and be heroes in our own stories. Unexpected challenges might block our journey, but don't we want to see what the hero within us will do next? Journey onward.